Yo, what's up, people? This is Malcolm Extreme Content Machine. And it's time to get a little big brain today. We got a science video from Kurt Skizat. He came out with a video this black hole could be bigger than the universe. And that's actually kind of interesting to me. So I kind of want to watch it to see what it's about. Let's get started. Just a curiosity. Join us on an interactive adventure across 160 thrilling pages that will change your perspective on the world forever. I really like this channel. I like all the little animation, little cartoons they got. <laughs> and all their different theories. It turns out black holes are much weirder than you think, and they break the universe much more than is usually explained, destroying time and space. And they may actually create infinite universes in the process. But before we can get to that, let's first build a black hole. Dude, wouldn't it be cool if we just knew that's what a black hole did? No, we could speculate. We can... We can uh, theorize what a black hole does all, all we can, but unless we actually were able to test it, we just don't know. But like the concepts are interesting. That's for damn sure. Out of air. Everything can become a black hole. The Furby! Hole a critical limit. <laughs> You'd need to squeeze Earth down to the size of a coin for it to turn into a black hole. The sun needs to be squeezed down to the size of a small city to become a black hole. And if a lot of mass is concentrated in a really tiny space, you get something super dense. The super black holes are explained. Stuff becomes super dense and collapses into a black hole. But actually, you don't need any ultra dense stuff to make them. We're ignoring some maths here, but all you really need to know is one thing. The larger black holes get, the less dense they are. So really large black holes are kind of thin. Oh, a sun mass black hole is didn't know that. kilometers wide and has a density of about one Himalayan range per cubic meter. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way has a mass of 4 million suns, a diameter of 24 million kilometers, and a density of six blue whales. That's crazy. The ultramassive black that's... hole is that's another thing, like, you can fit 4 million suns into the black hole at the center of our, our galaxy. Like, just the scale of that. Can you imagine just the scale of that freaking black hole, man? That is crazy. Like, honestly, man, it, <laughs> the universe is nuts. 2100-4156 has a mass of 3.8 billion suns and is as wide as a solar system. But See, look how crazy that is. It's only as dense as air. This means, at least in theory, that if you take a gigantic balloon and fill it with undecillions of tons of air, the moment it gets to the size of a solar system, an event horizon suddenly forms and it turns into a supermassive black hole without violence or squeezing. So now, Damn. let's think big. What do we need to make a black hole the size of the universe? A universe That'd be crazy. Hole. The chunk of the universe that we can see from Earth is a sphere with a radius of 45 billion light years, filled with hundreds of billions of galaxies, lots of gas, and a bunch of... Wouldn't Earth. that be crazy if we're just, like, in a black hole right now? Suns. We usually imagine black holes as spheres with a singularity at their center, a point where all their mass is concentrated so much that our mass breaks down. But this is a lie. They That's for sure. So much weirder. From the outside, a black hole looks like a normal black sphere, but the inside is where things stop making sense. Black holes warp the universe so much that at the event horizon, space and time switch. Their That's probably like one of the scariest things to get trapped in a black hole. But inside a black hole, because there's no escape. Goes on forever. You'll probably just die instantly. So once inside, you see an infinite universe with no So maybe energy. it's not that bad. The is too complicated, so we're simplifying. But basically, you can walk forever in one direction, or walk in another direction, and arrive at the same place again. But not only that, inside a black hole, time is finite, and it's now running out. So after a while, you start mm. to notice that space itself is slowly changing. In one direction, space is being stretched, while in all other directions, space is shrinking. The whole universe is being squeezed, kind of turning into a collapsing spaghetti. Sooner or later, the whole black hole universe collapses into it. Yo, all of that is just hard to comprehend, personally. ...into a singularity. So the singularity of a black hole is not at its center or in any direction at all. It's in the future of whatever falls inside. We made a whole video about this if you want to learn more. So the singularity is not a place where you can go. I don't think I watched that video. That happens. Once it happens, you and everything else that fell inside the black hole will be mercilessly crushed into an infinitely small region with infinite gravity and infinite energy. Time, space, none of it matters anymore. Both kind of stop existing in ways that we would recognize. And then, is this the end? Well, maybe not. This collapse. Dude, that, dude, that, like, so, so many of these comp, uh, concepts are so hard to comprehend. Like, especially when we live in this reality where we can, we understand time, and we understand, like, the effects of time on us. And then, like, when you get to a black hole, like, none of that matters when you get further inside. Or at least we think <laughs> nothing matters when you get further inside of the black hole universe into a singularity looks like one of the scenarios for the end of our universe the big crunch where long after the big bang the whole universe collapses into a singularity again hmm but if there's a big crunch there might be a big bounce like a rubber ball that you squeezed too much and that suddenly rebounds space might expand again so a new universe could be born inside a black hole the funny thing about this scenario is that nothing has changed in the slightest outside the black hole 
Watching from the outside, it's still a black sphere of nothingness. And yet, on the inside, a new universe has been born. New universe is there, yeah. The was born like this, and we are all actually inside a black hole. But if our universe can also create black holes, they might give birth to new universes. Is our black hole universe also just part of the universe of the third? Oh, it just continues and it continues. Is there an end to it? Is there one original universe? Is the cosmos black holes inside mm. black holes inside black holes? Infinite black hole universes. If the universe creates black holes that create universes, that then create new black holes that create new universes, this cosmic self-reproduction would be subject to natural selection. A Big Bang is a chaotic and messy event, so it's possible that the mm. new daughter universes would not always be fully identical to their mums. Sometimes physics may be slightly different, with some fundamental values higher or lower, and so some universes might be able to create loads of stars, planets, and black holes. Others might not, maybe creating a uniform cosmic soup where no stars, planets, and black holes form. But if all universes... Yo, what if this is like... What if this is the precursor to like other dimensions and stuff like if you actually go all the way through a black hole and get to that point where if the theory is right that we're in a black hole and then black holes we go through a black hole into like another universe on the other side of that black hole what if what if that's like another dimension with like different physics and and different types of sciences and different races of people there's just so much man like there's so much like our universe is so huge our universe is so just it it's a damn near infinite okay and now think about going through a black hole into another universe that is just just as infinite as ours mind bending versus a boy inside black holes in the long run all universe lines that don't create loads of black holes would die out the universes with the conditions for loads of black holes would become the most common and spawn the most daughter universes survival of the fittest but with universes instead of organisms our observable universe alone has created at least 10 to the power of 17 black holes so far so maybe our universe has mm. the physics and laws it has because it was Dude. for a long process of cosmological selection that fixed that's even crazier and that would have a lovely side effect if universes are optimized to create as many new black holes i didn't even realize we had that many black holes in our universe and, and thereby also by accident the conditions for life to emerge so universes that are the best at creating new universes are also the best at creating life if this scenario is true who knows how many bazillions of black hole universes might be out there all with stars and planets potentially home to others like us so is our universe like this the truth is we don't know while these ideas are based on real science and work on paper they're speculative and not testable also the cyclic universes don't actually explain why the universe exists in the first place or why it is the way it is instead of providing answers these are really just new questions in disguise so keep us wonderful and heartwarming that we're living in a universe where ideas as big as this one are even thinkable there might be so much life and if new universes are created constantly maybe life will go on forever maybe we've heard you Curiosity stream Curiosity is now available on our shop. It's oh, it's just a, the book advertisement for the book. Okay, not bad, Kurt Uh, this was a very uh, how you say it? <laughs> I would say it's enlightening. It's just just all the questions that I have afterwards, and not knowing the answers to all the questions, like what is in a black hole and stuff like that. It always puzzles me, <laughs> and I don't think we'll ever in our lifetime understand the universe like we can't even we can't even comprehend what's in the deepest parts of the ocean right space is an ocean of itself you know just a vast ocean and it's dangerous and it's mysterious and man it's just crazy it's gazat man check out his channel i got i got a link in my basement if you want to check out his videos he got so many videos I don't even think it's just a singular guy. I think it's just a whole organization of people who just love science and making like theoretical videos. So yeah, if you like the video, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you want more reaction videos and more content from the content machine, this is Malcolm Extreme. Take it easy.